This draft involves a pre-draft trade in the mock draft <clears throat> thanks to a pre-draft trade in real life. So the Buffalo Bills traded away Stephon Diggs, which means the Bills at 28 are almost assuredly drafting a wide receiver there. The Lions sitting at 29 were projected to draft a wide receiver, but now they're like, oh, are we gonna have to take wide receiver six at 29? Why don't we do this? Trade the 29th pick for T. Higgins. Oh, I like so that. in this draft, the okay. the Lions trade their first round pick and then sign T. Higgins to the contract extension he wants. So that consider that going into this as the Bengals have what lost are the T. Bengals Higgins. Getting? What the 29th pick? Oh, 20, okay. They're getting the 29th pick and then you'll see what they're doing in okay. the draft. All right, first eight picks of the draft. Wilds correct wow, that uh, Caleb Williams, Drake May, as it was the last time, but this time with Jaden Daniels. Wilds guy going to the New England Patriots. The Cardinals send it in immediately with Marvin Harrison Jr. The Vikings trade up for J.J. McCarthy. More on that in a moment. The Giants get the most talented receiver they have had since Odell Beckham Jr. Shout out to Odell. Good to see him this week. And Joe Alt hit the tackle for Tennessee. That is the most obvious pick of anyone in the draft. And then the Chargers, after trading down from five, trade back up to number eight. Oh. So we'll give you the details on those trades right now. So the the Vikings trade 11 and 23 for number five. They'll probably, to be mm. honest, have to give up more than that. I went off the traditional trade value chart. My guess is that tra that trade would involve some future picks. We don't have to worry about that for here. And then what do the Chargers do? The Chargers lost both of their receivers. They trade from 11, some late mm. round picks as well, to move up. So they get the third of the big three receivers and the Falcons know they are going to draft defense. They are going to have their pick of almost any defensive player on the board at 8 or 11 so they can move mm. down. Now to 9 through 16. At number 9, the Bears take an edge to go along Montez Sweat and Dallas Turner. The Jets in this draft are actually smart. Oh. They draft a tackle, one of the youngest players in the okay. draft to learn okay. under Tyron Smith. The, Vi the Falcons still get their guy, Latu, the edge out of UCLA. And then the big trade. Brock Bowers. The Bengals trade up from 18, those details in a moment, to go get mm. Brock Bowers. The Raiders reunite. Antonio Pierce and Michael Penix. The, or the I'm sorry, the Raiders get go get their quarterback. Don't reunite, pardon me. Michael uh, Michael Penix Jr. The Saints, you heard Ryan Ramchek's worried. He might not be able to play this year. So all of a sudden, they desperately need a tackle. They get Fuaga. Everybody knows the culture taking the corner. They take the number one corner. And the Seahawks get a lineman that can play all five positions in Fatanu. And now we'll give you the details of the Bengals trade. So the Bengals lose, brought, lose T. Higgins. Mm -hmm. So they get, give up picks 18 and 49 to go get Brock Bowers. What some people consider the best tight end prospect, yeah. even better than Kyle Pitts in more than a decade. You re-sign Chase, you get Bowers on a rookie contract, and you don't really lose any juice in your offense. They obviously signed Gusecki. They can maybe go with some heavier sets, but also have Jamar Chase. Now, the latter half of the draft, fewer trades. The Jags get an edge to go along with Trayvon Walker and Jared Verse. The Broncos had traded down with Cincinnati because they wanted Bo Nix, and there was nobody that's going to draft a quarterback between 12 and 18 that is to take Bo Nix, so they are able to. The Rams do their best to replace the best defensive tackle ever with the best defensive tackle in this draft, uh, Byron Murphy the second. The Steelers, after trading away Deontay Johnson, they draft the 6'4 receiver at LSU and Brian Thomas yeah. Jr. The Dolphins lost defensive tackle Christian Wilkins. They get Johnny Newton from Illinois. The Eagles desperately need a corner, if you ask me. They get a corner. The Chargers, remember they have this pick from the earlier trade. They get a guy who's played right tackle at Alabama. Jim Harbaugh saw him up close and personal in the college football playoff. They have their left tackle. Now they have their right tackle. And the Cow Graham Barton's probably a center or a guard Cowboys need both now to the final eight of mock draft 2.0 the Packers safety was their biggest weakness last year they signed Xavier McKinney and now they sign they draft the number one safety turn a weakness into a strength the Bucks had Devin White alongside Levante David as the core of that defense for years Devin White left Levante David was drafted in 2012 they try to rebuild that part of their team the Cardinals get the freak athlete out of Iowa Cooper Desheen the Bills do get their wide receiver, 6'4", out of Texas. Adonai Mitchell, a transfer from Georgia. Didn't get used that much in Georgia. Was great at Texas last year. The Bengals, having received this pick from the earlier trade uh, for T. Higgins, they get their tackle that they've been looking for. The, Bear, the Ravens get a tackle because they traded away their tackle to the Jets or lost them to the Jets. The 
Niners get a center, who they desperately need. Bruce, tell me how bad it was. And the oh, Chiefs get a corner to replace Legereus Seed. And that is Ooh, my draft 2.0, okay. ladies okay. and gentlemen. A lot of action there. All right, let's yeah, go back is. to the top of the draft here. Drake May to Washington. Now, Merrill Hodge just roasted. Went on the record and said, you know what? May's tape is going to get a coach fired. <laughs> So, Brew, are you optimistic or pessimistic on Drake May? I like Merrill Hodge a lot. And, I, I look, I'm not going to go as far as to say Drake May is not going to be any good, but I would take Jaden Daniels. And I think oh, Nick wow. did this to appease you. Yeah, thank you. So he could go to the Patriots. But we know that May has the, the strong arm, but a lot of people are feeling like he needs to sit a, a year a la Jordan Love, but only for one season before he starts. We know that that'd be good. I think that's good for most quarterbacks, but I think he may need it more than most. And Jaden Daniels, I mean, we know the athleticism is off the charts. We know that in addition to that, he's got great pocket presence. Like, I know he's got to improve, you know, in his intermediate passing a little bit, but he throws a great deep ball. Mm -hmm. And I just think he, Wilds, I think he's what you guys need. You won't get him, but I think he's what Washington needs. I would go with Daniels at, sec at so, two. And I know we're going to talk more Daniels in a minute. I the, Here's the, the best argument for Drake May that the people who believe in Drake May keep bringing up, and it seems simplistic, but I think it is a fair one, is... What do you think Drake May would look like in college football two years from now? Because that's what we saw from Jaden and Penix. Okay. We saw them two years older than Drake May yep. is now with two more years of reps. And so the Drake May, not this past season, but the season before, looked awesome. This season had some inconsistencies. Also, last, year, last season, the season before this past one, had more weapons. This year, they're probably the only other... North Carolina offensive player that's going to get drafted is Tez Walker probably in the third or fourth round. But I just, I, I think because of the age and the upside there, I would be so very you, surprised if, go ahead. If Washington doesn't go if, with I, I, Yeah, this is not just to appease Wilds. So the, the appeasing Wilds is that the Patriots draft Jaden, not JJ. I do think it's going to go, as of now, Caleb and then Drake May, but maybe I'll be wrong. I think people like the upside of it. They had to get Sam Howell out of Washington. Yes. Too much of an alpha. I I, I, yeah, you you sent us that tweet and read it aloud <laughs> to the entire office. Yeah. I like Sam Howell. Uh, Jaden Dales. Finally, back to three for the Patriots. Sleeper team who are on a drive for five, five wins. Uh, Brew, you just talked about how much you like Jaden Daniels, but kind of take your lens and point it at the Patriots. Do you think the Patriots can get to five wins since we're on the drive for that's, five? No, that's, that's not the question. Why, you switch it up. Relevant. That's, relevant is five wins. He would make them relevant because we'd want to see what Daniels looks like there. Now, and the defense, let's just say the defense is good. Now you got a quarterback who even though he – we know he's polished in the pocket in college, but he's going to have some growing pains. Sure. But when, as he's going through his growing pains, he can make things happen off schedule. Thank he can you. run. So it would be exciting. You, we'd all want to tune in and see what Jaden Daniels looks like for the Patriots. So, yes, it would make you guys relevant. For good and for bad, this just has so many – RG3 similarities, which is a guy who going into his final year of college football was nowhere near the top of anybody's mock draft, mm. has a monster, you know, last year, wins the Heisman. Jaden obviously doing it with far more weapons than, yeah. uh, than RG3. And RG3 had good receivers that year at uh, Baylor, but also real concerns about his body. And for RG3, listen, maybe it was just the one hit and then, the, you know, he got left in the game. I don't Same know. Like but I... Were you an elbow I, truther? But no, don't, I don't care about the, the burst of sack on his elbow. I care about the fact that he weighs 22 pounds more than I do. But yeah, don't I care you, about that. you, I think oh. obviously I, he's a tall guy. You would think he could put on a little bit of weight. And some I, comps have him like Kyler Murray, I, but he's 6'4". Yeah, but Kyler like, I'd rather you be thick, man. I, I get that, but I'd rather a guy be taller I, than, and a little bit thin. Can thinner. I say something okay. about guys when yeah. people say they can put on weight? I don't. Yeah. Then you would have. Yeah. He's 20, like he's in his, or like he's five years of college football. I don't he, think he, he has his the, man body yet. The, what, what, when's it coming? It's coming soon. No, I mean, it's, it's coming it? soon. 24, 25. Okay, it's a couple years sure. in the league. Uh, <laughs> Chargers at eight, taking Roma Dunze from Washington. College career saw him rack up Whoa. over 3,000 yards and 24 touchdowns. Brew, do you see him as Herbert's immediately uh, I, wide receiver? I actually do. I actually, yeah. We know how strong the draft is for receivers. Some think. 
he's second. I mean, a couple may be saying even first in this draft as far as a receiver, but I like his size. He runs a 4 4 40, so he's got speed to go with the size. And you look at a lot of the guys, I mean, an A.J. Brown, a Debo Samuel, he's a strong receiver, so he, those guys can run after the catch, make something happen. I think he could be that type of guy. And you look in the last several drafts, there's been at least one great receiver, and, and in many of these drafts, a few oh, yeah. really good receivers. So, yeah, if he's at near the top of this draft as a receiver, I believe he's going to come out there and produce. Oh, listen, I the people – I think people have overstated the great wide receivers in this draft being deep. I think that there are a lot of potential wide receiver twos in this draft. I think that the late first and the entire second round, you're going to have guys going throughout it, from Ladd McConkey, Purcell from Florida, right. Xavier Worthy, the guys who I had going late first round. But to me, there are three clear day one wide receiver ones and they are all going to be top 10 picks. Mm -hmm. And for the Chargers, they missed on Quentin Johnston. Flat, like I yeah. just, they, they just missed on him. I don't think all of a sudden he's going to be excellent. And so this would be, uh, this would be a great kind of help to Justin Herbert and a guy who would be cheap. Yeah. And this is a guy Harbaugh, by the way, played against the national championship game. So, so I, he, the, he, and he's not going to get past the Bears. At nine. You're not giving Harbaugh a lot of uh, recruiting credit here. I think he's draft, draft, draft prep credit. I think it's like, oh, I saw this guy in the national championship. Let me get him. Well, I think if you know their problems, then uh, yeah, that's, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, you've draft, got the, draft your own players in the <laughs> second and third round. Bengals grabbing uh, Georgia tight end Brock Bowers at 12 after trading T. Higgins. Uh, Brew, do you like this point? But look, you guys know I've said you don't have to trade T. All right, you could play him this year and, and go for it. But if you know you're, if he's going to be unhappy, I think he still would play. But if he's going to be unhappy, and obviously you'd lose him for very little if you lose him in the, after next season. So if you can get Bowers and then you run a lot of 12 personnel, you still got, you know, Jamar on the outside. Like, your passing game would still be very strong, presumably. So I don't hate this one. Now, that's getting a, a late first yep. for T, which some people aren't sure they're going to be able to get Correct. that. And with this draft being so deep with receivers, does a team say, hey, I can get a really good receiver, a Cheap. number two guy for cheaper? So I, if they can get a late first, then, yeah, i do it, but I don't know if they'll be able to. I think Bowers is the most likely non-quarterback that someone will trade up for. Oh. Because I think that there, I, I, I've done literally 70 mock drafts. Uh, because it's just, 70. like, just I, I just enjoy the different machinations of it. And... Uh, unless the Jets do the impulsive thing at and take Bowers at 10, the people that cover the Bears swear they're not going tight end at 9. It's hard to see Bowers going in the top 10, and then you wonder if there's going to be a team that says, we have him rated as the fifth best player in the draft. Right. Yep. They trade up to, you know what I mean, 11, 12, 13. So if it's not Cincinnati, I think someone will trade up for Brock Bowers. Mm. Okay. Coming up next, Bronny declares mm. for the NBA draft. What does that mean for LeBron next? That PFF mock draft bot is pretty good, man. I gotta give credit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.